Well, hello there, amazing people. I th thought I would make a little video about my uh, virtual machines that I use uh, actually on a daily basis. <laughs> And, all, and I'm also all, almost using all of them on a daily basis. I happen to be on the Windows right now, but if I'm on the Linux, any other operating system, these virtual machines that you see over here, their uh, virtual hard drive is on a separate SSD. So that means that if I boot into my Linux partition, I just tell VirtualBox to basically load off that hard drive that's on that SSD so I don't have to make new you know, new uh, virtual machines and stuff like that. They are just basically uh, plugging into the hard drives on that SSD. So let, let, let's get on to it. Uh, Mandiao XFCE. This is actually Mandiao KDE. The names don't really follow uh, what they are a, a lot of times. But Mandiao KDE, not the one I use the most. Uh, it, it's actually uh, OpenSUSE I use the most and Ubuntu at the moment. Then we just have stock standard uh, Ubuntu, it seems like. But it's actually Ubuntu KDE. Uh, or Kubuntu, uh, and, and I use that quite a lot actually. I, I think that's the one I've been using the most the last couple of months there. Then we just have plain old uh, Ubuntu GNOME. I always like to have a, a vanilla install of Ubuntu. I do theme it. Then I have Pop OS. Uh, it used to be my favorite. Right now I'm again a I, I'm leaning a little bit to Kubuntu to be honest. Uh, OpenSUSE Pantheon. This is basically just OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Which is the second one I spend the most time in, to be honest. And I love OpenSUSE, I love OpenSUSE Leap and OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. And I spend a lot of time doing a lot of research and reading and testing in Tumbleweed. And sometimes in Mandiao or Arts. Leap, it was a little experiment I did because I wanted to test something out with Leap. So I installed Leap and I've been using it on and off for like three weeks now or something like that. Fedora, I always kept the Fedora install uh, uh, VM. It's not the one I use the most. It's a little bit in period. Sometimes I'm like, I, I kind of want to you know, go into the Fedora universe. I do like the Fedora universe. And I, and I mess around with Fedora for a week or so and I get tired of it. I get bored of it. And then I go back to the other ones, basically. End Arts. I'm not going to End Arts, but it's basically just Endeavor OS's uh, Arts version. Soul is this is kind of my test bed right now. I, I I don't know what's on. We can see what's on it here in a bit. But yeah, I, I need to rename this to test. This is my test VM. I always have a test VM. Uh, the SUSE build is actually Windows 10. <laughs> I always have a Windows 10 install. Again, if I want to test stuff out, as you guys can see, I'm on the Windows right now. And if someone sends me a piece of software, a link to a website, and they're like, hey, check this out. And it seems a little bit dodgy. I boot into my Windows VM. And run it from there because then I, I have a little bit of extra protection. It's like, you know, both be on birth control and using a condom. The, the Linux down here is my retro uh, VM. So I test 32 bit uh, Linux distribution in this one. Let's go into my test here. This is actually, if it's working, I don't know if it's working. I don't think it is, no. But it's actually um, a group of people trying to make a free BSD based Mac OS system. But it's not, it don't seem to be working here. So let's close it down. But yeah, I, I tested out some uh, some system. One of them is called Hello, I think it is. We can boot that one up, see if it uh, it will do that. So I can give you guys a little treat here. I do look at other operating system. I, I like uh, looking at other operating system. I have a really itchy nose. And I do look at BSD. Uh, distributions once in a while and again that's what i use this um virtual machine for here the soul is or i need to rename it test so it's just put on it whatever i want you know if someone's like hey check this this crazy thing out i go in and test it out so let's go up to full screen here and it, it takes a little time to load it, it is a really really early version but uh, it takes a little bit time to load so yeah i, I test the different kind of things out they are trying to basically make a open source version of Mac OS. Let's set the solution to... There you go. So yeah, I, I've been messing around with this a little bit. Which is actually quite fun. So th this is really great to use my VMs for this. And 
Let's say, oh, now I'm getting bored of this. I don't want to use it anymore. I just shut it down, shut it down. And theoretically, it should end the, the VM. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a biatch. So now I just go up to Mandiao. So I have all of my favorite Linux distributions at my fingertips. Easy to just boot into. And this is way faster than have to shut everything down, reboot your computer, uh, boot into a separate hard drive or reinstall a distribution to test it out and stuff like that. It, it just make more sense because yes, I'm under Windows right now, but let's say I was under uh, Linux. Oh my God. Uh, let's say I was under Linux. So I can, I have two screens. I'm actually looking at you guys right now on my second screen. So I have all my documentation, my YouTube videos, you know, all of the stuff that you normally consume and do on your home, on, on your host system. I have that mostly here if I'm running version machines. So in here, I'm only doing stuff, lights, you know, stuff that um, I want to test out. I want to fit with. So I could be, I could be doing some programming. I could be doing some, like I said, some research and stuff like that. And then when I when I get tired of doing that under Mantiao, I just close it down because I have all my documents and stuff like that over here with you guys. Hello, and I, and I, I can just close this down within like 30 seconds. I'm in Ubuntu. Within 30 seconds, I'm in. Arts. Within 30 seconds, I mean, whatever distribution you want to mention that you have installed. And it is it, it is fast. It, it sounds crazy. But if you do it this way, it is faster than if you're rebooting your whole PC. Because when you're rebooting your whole PC, you have to save the work that you're working on. You have to save your tabs or remember what tabs you have open or use a sync system like being logged into Firefox or Chrome and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that you actually are doing that you have to stop doing and then redo on the other system and did you carry over all the other um you know files and can you remember all the um the tabs you had open and shit like that if you're just having that on your whole host system like i have like i have um like you see I, I you guys are over here with my uh OBS, I can reboot into different distributions without having to stop OBS and reboot and restart it and all of that shit. It's all being done here seamlessly, you know, without me having to stop my recording software. There are so many benefits for have running Linux and virtual machines that it's almost I, I can't I can't I can't tell you all the benefits in a in a video that is condensed and short enough for you guys to actually manage to keep the attention span or being a you know keep the attention going so yeah now i'm in open source and did, did we not have to uh, generate the man database it would have been way faster but hey we're now under open source i don't want to be here anymore close it down and let's go into fedora i haven't stopped my recording software and anything like that you see you guys i'm talking to you guys right now so yeah, it's it, I love virtual machines and I love Win uh, not Windows Linux and virtual machines because Linux runs great in virtual machines. A DJ where I made a um, a video where he benchmarked Linux running in virtual machines and on physical hardware, and in some instances it actually ran faster and ran faster and better in virtual machines than on physical hardware. I think it was something with memory and multitasking that was better on the Linux and virtual machines than in on physical hardware which is actually really really fun to think about now if you you know go watch that video if you remember it i will have a link to it down below or just ask me and i will put it in there virtual machines is a fucking amazing tool man anyway i've been geeking out too much about virtual machines right now see you all later have an amazing day